assuming most of you, at least if you've been on Twitter recently, have heard about what's going on to the homeless people who are, um, you know, camped out, staying at the Echo Park uh, area of Los Angeles and how the cops basically used all the force that they could to conduct a sweep again during a pandemic of homeless people. And it's just really, really sickening and disgusting. Think about how much money they literally sent out hundreds of cops to violently evict these homeless people who had nowhere else to go from this park during a pandemic. Think about all the money that they spent on those cops' salaries during that time that could have probably could have bought a couple of fucking houses just for that fucking time there again. Plenty of money to go around to the cops all throughout the U.S. to brutalize, maim, and oppress people. Again, especially communities of color, other vulnerable marginalized groups like homeless folks. And yet we can't get universal health care. We can't make sure everybody has a house even though there's like, what, 17 million vacant homes in the U.S. We can't just give everybody a fucking house and it... I mean, if we're not going to do that, at least let them fucking stay in the park, okay? I mean, Jesus Christ. <sighs> Pretty informative video by the uh, People's City City Council of um, Los Angeles here. And this is the mastermind behind these sweeps, I believe is, what is his name? Uh, Mitchell Farrell, uh, LA, LA City Council, and just a tool of the capitalist bourgeoisie class who doesn't want their property values driven down because there's homeless people camping in a park because they don't have anywhere else to go. This guy can fuck off. Uh, it will close as soon as the announcement's ready to go. And that's, that's when the public will know. Look at that. All to evict uh, fucking homeless people from a park. Uh, Yes, that's exactly what it is. This guy's fucking a liar. Look at that. And they're just putting up a fucking fence around it. Look at that. It's disgusting. They had helicopters flying around. Which is what it was. That's actually not going to happen. That's not true. I urge the people who are raising those concerns to work with the service providers who have been there since late December. Fucking Gestapo, man. You ask Gestapo. A site that we have secured for them in a safe environment. That's Look at all those fucking cops to evict homeless people from a park during a pandemic. disgusting echo park rise up fucking disgusting and then lapd shot six people in seven days mitchell farrell that was that city council member we just saw ordered them down to echo park lake last night to violently displace hundreds of unhoused residents and assault hundreds of their allies again the community came out in force against this kudos to everybody who tried to Fight, fight back against this. Mitch knew what he was doing. He's trying to get people killed. Listen to LAPD joking about bombing us. Um, LAPD headquarter, headquarter officers on the police scanner last night talk about how they want to dump gas on protesters and set them on fire. Okay. If you're, I don't know at this point if... What the fuck is wrong with you if you're not completely behind defunding and abolishing the fucking police? I mean, Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Look at that. I mean, Jesus fucking... I, Nazi shit, yes. Um... LAPD showed up looking for war last night all under the direction of Mitchell Farrell in the city of Los Angeles. What a cruel society we live in. Echo Park rise up. Look at that. To evict 
some of the most vulnerable people in our society, hundreds of cops. Those cops, like hundreds of cops, millions of dollars in fucking salary a year. Think about how many houses that could have built, how much health care that could have provided to the community, how much just money, how much education, how much mental health services, etc. Again, basically any use of these resources would be better spent than giving them to the fucking cops to do shit, fucked up shit like this on a daily basis. I mean, Jesus Christ. Yeah, he is a fucking fascist. I agree. Yeah, and then the fucking helicopters. Think about how much that thing fucking costs to run an hour with the fuel and paying the fucking pilot and shit. I mean, Jesus Christ. And then the cops are um, targeting, uh, you know, just peaceful protesters, obviously, as they always do. And then targeting journalists as well. This is... Um, uh, Kate Cagle from Kate Cagle from her Twitter. I don't want anybody to know what's happening. Hmm, so much for freedom of the press or freedom of assembly, right? The fucking fascist America. And then, um, this is from Yasha Levine's Substack. Um, the op was masturbating by Mitchell Farrow, a very liberal city council member who represents the 13th district, which runs from Hollywood to Dodger Stadium and spans a stretch of Los Angeles River. Objective is to destroy a unique homeless camp that taken on, uh, taken life on the western flank of the park by kicking all the residents and then building a Trump-style border wall so they can never return. The scheme, which has been uh, clear in the works for a while has been driven by a bunch of locals who are worried about the real estate values and their views and who've been clamoring for law and order. They've been organizing behind the scenes and Mitchell Furrow has been all too willing to do their bidding. Last night, the city deployed millions of dollars worth of muscle, again, hundreds of fucking cops, multiple choppers, hundreds of patrol cars, buses filled with riot police standing by in reserve to kick a few dozen poor people off a lawn. The cops shot people with less than lethal rounds, and broke a journalist's hand in the process. Watching it from afar, the scale of the op reminds me of the raid on Occupy LA, and you're doing it all in the middle of a fucking pandemic. Look, probably close to 400 LAPD officers spread out all throughout Echo Park Lake, over 100 police cars packed with four cops each, three buses, two helicopters, and other city department getting ready to throw people's belongings, etc., Tax dollars spent to criminalize poverty. I mean, Jesus Christ. What a fucking sick, disgusting society the United States is on, on so many levels. Um, Virginia and I have spent a lot of time at Echo Park Lake ever since we moved back to L.A. We've seen the homeless camp there grow from just a few random tents to impressive commune type arrangement with outdoor showers a pantry a place where people can donate and take clothes and tents and other necessities at some point the place began to feel more like a self-organized refugee camp which is exactly what it is camp housing people displaced by economic and political warfare again homelessness is a fucking policy choice there are 17 fucking million unused houses in the united states and roughly, it's probably obviously more now, five, six hundred thousand homeless people. Okay? It's a fucking policy choice. Sorry, Jeff Bezos, you don't need 50 homes. We're gonna, we'll leave you with two. We're gonna take the other rest and let these people have a house because it should be considered a fucking human right to have a roof over your head and the basic necessities of life provided. A lot of great people have helped make the camp at Echo Park Lake reality. Early on, right before the pandemic, activists helped defend the camp from police and sanitation raids, and they have since helped it grow and achieve stability. Although uh, Jenny and I haven't been involved, we donated a few things over the months to people living there. Some will scream at you about the encampment being an eyesore, or dangerous, or unsanitary, but I think the camp's made the park much better, turning largely decorative space in a livable habitat. If someone has to be homeless, living in a park with lawns, trees, and wide open spaces seems to be much better and safer than being forced in the dirty and toxic margins of LA society, into gutters, next to freeways, um, 
under overpasses on on ramps all parks should be used this way as staging areas for temporary housing for the displaced there's a war going on it's incredible that people think they're entitled to stroll comfortably around well manicured public green spaces with their views uncluttered by the reality of the poverty and squalor of the society they inhabit yes 100 percent. you don't like that shit going on advocate for it to be better help these people out help them find housing the solution is not to kick them out somewhere so you just don't see it anymore that's that's fucked up the camp at echo park lake is unique <clears throat> some of course the some of course the political some of so of course okay that makes my sense so of course the political response by the liberal democratic party city is to destroy and scatter it push it out of sight out of sight out of mind it's not there anymore we ain't got to fucking worry about it there's nothing strange about this i remember that back when trump was around la los angeles mayor was in, uh, in talks with his admin cooking a plan to build homeless camps on federal land somewhere far out of the city concentration camps most likely in the mojave desert where there's plenty of federal land the attack on echo park lake is the same strategy just on a smaller scale don't address the problem simply push it out of sight i'm in the park Bradley compares the situation in the fence park to an open air concentration. Again, I mean, there's so many layers of fucked upness. We're during a pandemic. Massive amount of police presence and resources being used to attack and brutalize and evict people like Valerie, to some of the most vulnerable and marginalized people in our society. They don't have a fucking permanent home. Living in a park, that's a public space. That should be fucking fine. You're not fine with that? Build them a fucking house somewhere, okay? That's that's like that's it. As it stands, Echo Park Lake has been fenced off, and the cops are saying they're returning tonight in force to finish the job this time. I mean, Jesus Christ. So fucked up. Fucked up on every level. Um, let's see if there's any more videos worth. Echo... so disgusting so just fucking capitalism is the real virus we got again millions if not billions of dollars in some cases to go to the police but we can't give everybody a fucking home or health care shithole country vibes am i right we refuse to be swept in new darkness <sighs> defund the police Invest in housing. How about that? Crowd is driving back LAPD SUVs. Chanting move back. That's awesome. Let's see. And it's just, again, kudos and solidarity with um, everybody out there um, fighting, fighting back against this fucking disgusting display of police force and presence. Look at that. Think about how many fucking houses that could have built. All those cop cars there and all the salaries of those pieces of shit cops in them. I mean, for God's sakes. Um, getting violent with people. Pushing them back. Again, they broke somebody's fucking arm with the baton. Using less, quote unquote, less lethal. Look at all this shit, dude. Again, during a fucking pandemic. Police are pushing. I already watched that fucking bag talk so disgusting um, today yeah so that was Wednesday <clears throat> it's just so fucked up man um, so fucked up Jesus AP photojournalist Chris, Christian uh, Monterosa was kettled and then shot twice at point blank with riot munitions by LAPD. Monterosa, photographed by the LAPD officer in charge, holding handwritten notes about Antifa, suggesting LAPD is targeting arrest based on people's political beliefs. And this is, uh, again, Biden wants to give the cops more money and fucking research. No, it's not the solution, Biden. Where does it say? Oh, yeah, right there, Antifa.
LAPD's writ handwritten activity note, mobile field force. Almost three hundred fucking thousand dollars in twenty nineteen. I mean, Jesus Christ. Undercover cop at the Los Angeles March for Brianna Taylor, blue daughter's cap, blue hoodie. I mean, gee, taxpayer dollars again, hard at work. Defund the police. Fuck. I mean, just so does. And then they kettled them. So basically the cops like, no, you got to go back this way. And then nope, cops are actually on that side. They trap people and then just mass arrest. A cab. Yep. So disgusting. Again, homelessness is a fucking policy choice. Capitalism is the real virus. Defund the police. Work towards abolishing them. Invest in programs that actually improve the lives of people, not brutalize and oppress them, which is the function of cops. So, fucking dystopian capitalist hellhole that the United States is. Like the video, feel like the damn video. So, sub for more content. Peace, much love, all power to the people.